Hi, my name is Rebecca Howard, and I'm excited to be sharing this week's legislative recap as Alabama Arises' new policy and advocacy director. I'm a lifelong Alabamian from Alexander City and spent the last eight years in Washington, D.C. Of that time, I worked for Senator Doug Jones, both in his official office and on his two campaigns. So today we have two bits of good news to share with you all. Yesterday, the State House and Senate passed the first round of state ARPA funds. You can look at Robin's video last week to see what's inside that bill and the various projects that the bill will fund. The next wave of funding will arrive in early summer, and so Arise will continue to keep an eye on that and update you when we know more. In other news, a panel of three federal court judges uh, recently blocked the Alabama legislature's newly drawn congressional maps. The judges found that the map violates Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act since it only includes um, one congressional district where black Alabamians might elect a representative of their choice. One of Arise's policy priorities is to analyze um, barriers to the ballot box and consider policy priorities to strengthen voting rights access. We support the court's decision as it will allow for more minority representation. Arise will continue to monitor the situation closely as the state responds to this new ruling. Um, we have a busy week ahead in the state house, so be sure to check our legislative recap for next week. And thanks so much for having me.